Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another Halloween special, except for this one's going to be a shake, not a tea. And um, it is called Hocus Pocus. This is a 24 ounce cup filled with ice and about halfway with water. And you'll just pour this into your blender. I use a Nutribullet for mine. Um, but yeah, so you'll pour this into your blender. And then um, the formula one that we're going to use is orange cream. And we're going to put two scoops of orange cream formula one into our blender. And then the protein drink mix we're going to be doing is the vanilla protein drink mix. I'm just going to do one scoop, but if, you're, if your nutrition plan calls for two, feel free to go ahead and add two. And then um, the next piece we're going to do is um, vanilla sugar-free pudding. I just have to find it because... I was not prepared. Um, so yeah, the vanilla sugar-free pudding. And you're gonna use the small side of your Herbalife spoon. Normally I do one teaspoon, but for this shake I only did a half a teaspoon. Just cause I don't think that it necessarily needs much pudding. It just kinda helps with the consistency sometimes. So you're going to shake that up a little bit so it kind of shakes your product up. And I blend mine on medium for anywhere from like 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, I don't like mine pureed so much that you don't really have the, I kind of like the ice creamy chunks in there. So um, for our dressing our cup, we're going to use activated black charcoal. There's lots of health benefits and the pigment that this is just makes it um, really neat to to kind of jazz up your shakes and stuff. I put a fourth of a teaspoon in here. I actually didn't end up using the whole fourth of a teaspoon because the pigment is so strong. It just wasn't really needed. <clears throat> Once you got your cup all dressed, you... I mean, you could also do black sprinkles for this, but um, black charcoal doesn't have any sugar, any... Um, any calorie value to it. So um, that's another reason that I use it. And then I'm going to pour a few black sprinkles in the bottom. And then the next thing we're going to do is take our shake and we're going to pour it into this cup. Look at the thickness of that shake, guys. It's like completely perfect as far as texture. Oh. There's my dog. -y. So you're going to take this and you're going to just pour it into the cup. I want to make sure you guys can kind of see the, the texture. See how it's like ice cream almost? Like a milkshake. And then you can see the, the activated charcoal on the outside kind of looking all pretty um this is about one ounce of water i'm gonna pour a little bit out because i just don't think that i need that much and we're gonna do a fourth of a teaspoon of the orange beverage enhancer um, it's a pretty strong flavor so you don't need much but um this is a fourth teaspoon and we're gonna just mix that into this little bit of water that we have and then we're going to pour it over the top of our shake it just gives this shake a little bit stronger more of a strong orange flavor and it also makes the color really pretty too so and i'm just going to squeeze the cup a little bit that way this liquid beverage enhancer kind of goes down into the cup um these are Herbalife beverage enhancers. So if you, if you don't, if you have a coach, your coach can definitely get them for you. 
I always recommend the Herbalife beverage enhancers over the um, store-bought ones because if you look at the store-bought ones, a lot of them contain aspartame. And I don't know about you, but aspartame burns the heck out of my throat. So I can definitely tell a difference. The Herbalife ones have no bad aftertaste in my opinion. If you don't have a coach, shoot me a comment or something and I will get you some information. Um, but for the rest of this shake, I just dressed it with some whip and sprinkles. And this is what I call the Hocus Pocus shake. Let me know what you guys think.